Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how to open and close a file using a specific program in Python. Here's the text. This is all we need for your Python file. The first thing to do, import these two modules, time and subprocess. Note they are both built in, so you don't need to do any pip installs to get these modules on your system. They come with base Python. The second thing we need to do is define our relevant names. We're going to create two variables as strings, file path and program name, and these should point to the files. Here, file path points to the file I'm trying to open, which is this JPEG here on my desktop. And the program name is going to be Photoscape. I'm going to open this JPEG with Photoscape. Then you're going to use the subprocess module, the function called popen, and pass it a list, which is why there's brackets on either side and a comma between the two arguments here. Program name and file path were defined right here, and you pass those to subprocess, and it will open up Photoscape with that file. Now I'm also going to include how to terminate the file and close it at the end. I've added a four second wait here, time.sleep with the argument of four, that comes from the time module. And then at the end, I'm just doing p.terminate. We created this object p in this line here, and we're simply going to terminate it, which will close the file and the program. Let's go ahead and run this. you'll notice that we get an error right away. It's upset with the file path that we've created. This is because I have the users defined here and there's a weird thing in Unicode where when it's decoding the bytes, a U and an S don't go well together. To avoid this, simply add an R in front, which will save it as a raw string, save the file again, and if I come back here and run this, We'll see there's a delay when the program is being opened. There's the photo we wanted to see. And then it was closed right after my delay here. If you want the program open for longer, I could make this six seconds, save the file, run the file. And now we'll see the program's opened. We have a bit more time and then it's closed. That's all. Thank you for watching.